Mooted Fest of the Year is here. Yes, it's Moot Indigo, hosted by our very own IITB, the Indian Institute of Technology. What began in the 1970s as a group effort by a few enthusiastic IITians has now turned out to become one of the largest fests to be held not only in India, but across Asia. This festival is a four-day event and has participants from across the globe coming in to showcase their culture, their lifestyle and most importantly, their talent. Let's now show you around the campus to give you an idea as to what's in store for you at Murai. We began our day at MI with breathtaking stunt performances by USA's Chad Deeds. The crowds watching him with amazed excitement and silence. Here at IIT, he's shown us some wacky stunts. Let's talk to Mr. Wacky Chad. Uh, Chad, uh, tell me, uh, what, what is this exactly, what you're doing? How have you started off? How did I start off? I basically started doing skateboard stunts and my brother showed me up so I got a unicycle instead and started doing unicycle tricks which led to a full comic stunt comedy show that I do um, all around the world. Kind of like a street style circle type show or whatever. And they invited me uh, to Mumbai, India to uh, perform here for the IIT. So I've been having a lot of fun. The students are really liking it and uh, it's been fun. A stunt is taken to be very serious. And comedy is something totally opposite. So why stunt comedian? I mean, how do you describe that? Uh, it's a little different than, you know, a clown or um, a street performer because what I am doing is actually some really serious stunts that I actually have to wear a helmet for, you know what I mean? Um, and, and the jokes I'm doing as I'm actually doing these stunts. So it, it kind of relieves the edge off of the, the whole danger part of it. But then they realize, wow, that's actually pretty skillful, you know? It's just fun to connect with people and have some fun with the comedy element of it. And then, and then they see the impressive stuff, they're like, whoa, that was really cool too, you know? So that's kind of why stunt comedy. Has it ever gone, uh, you know, for the bad? I mean, has it ever happened that way? Um, when I was first starting out, a lot more than it used to now. Um, I've had like little mishaps, you know, but just like little bruised elbows or something like that. Or, you know, uh, I got stitches on my nose once, um, but nothing like really really bad. I've had some friends that do this and they got it pretty pretty bad, but not like, you know, anything dangerous. Once you, once you learn how to like at least bow or, you know, fail at a trick, you kind of learn how to like bounce out of it, you know, roll out of it. So, what is the kind of response that you're getting? You've been traveling across India, across countries. What is the kind of response that you fi find? Well, first off, I'm not the act you plan on seeing. You just happen to, you know, walk by and go, "Wow, that was really cool." And then you then you look me up on Facebook and then you just maybe give me a comment on Facebook. So I get a lot of fans that way. Like after they see my show, they go, wow, that was really cool. That was a lot better than I expected. I mean, if people are responding to it like in a positive way, like, why not have more of it? You know, it's kind of like music. They have a lot of music. They have a lot of, you know, fun type of, types of entertainment or whatever. And this is kind of a different variety type of entertainment that is kind of like, whoa, that's cool. That's different. And uh, I would like to see that, you know, and I would like to see more of that. It was followed by another dangerously incredible performance by Murray Malloy. Today, we have with us Mr. Murray Malloy, who's going to show us some dangerous word swallowing. Let's have a talk with him. I'm from Ireland, and I'm here to perform in Mood Indigo. I've been in India for two months, and this is the last of a seven festival tour that I'm doing. And it's been great so far. I'm really enjoying it. Great. Uh, you are going to do this dangerous word swallowing, uh, swallowing uh, thing out here. What do you think is going to be the response? For now, the response has been awesome. It's been really good. The Irish who did word swallowing stunts spoke of discipline and caution one needs to master to be able to carry out these stunts. It would be extremely dangerous, or if I sneeze when the sword is inside me. As well, I'm doing a stunt today, you'll see it. I do a stunt which is called a slide, where I swallow the sword to about halfway, and then I let it slide down inside by its own weight. So this is really difficult because you have to really control it with all of the muscles here. I can't direct it with my hands because it's hands-free. 
And also, it's, it's interesting for me to come back and do my take on sword swallowing here for Indian crowds. And the reaction has been great. People get freaked out. People are like, whoa. But you know, it's, it's really good. They're really good crowds.